have a pleasant surprise for you, Mrs. Barnes. Will you wait just a second? Goldie, say hello to your mother. Tell her where you are and, and that you're all right. Hello, Mom. Goldie, darling. Now, now, don't worry about me, Mom. I'm all right. You wouldn't know me. I'm a great. I've been with the greatest guy in the world. Did you read about me, Mom? I won the gold cup for Mr. Mason. Did you, darling? I won a lot of other races, too. Goldie Smith. That's me. I thought up the name myself. Let me add my assurance, Mrs. Barnes. He does look fine. He's a splendid boy. I think as much of him as if he were my own son. I also want you to believe that I called you the moment I learned the fact. Well, what are you going to do about this young man? I... I don't seem to be able to think. Well, suppose we let it rest for the time being. I realize it must be a shock. Suppose you call me later. We're at the Great Western Hotel. Yes. Thank you so much, Mr. Mason. Goodbye, Mrs. Bond. She forgot who it was. I'm as good as gone. Well, maybe when she sees how swell you look and everything, maybe she'll let you stay. You think so, boss? Maybe. Bob, did you hear what he said? I could tell by his voice he expects me to come and take Goldie back. How can I go? How can I face him? I've got to go now or never. Oh, Bob, you've got to go with me. You've got to help me. I don't have to tell you that I'd do anything in the world for you, Eve. You and Gordy. This is one thing I can't do. 